Let's see what it is. Okay, the demons are coming out, folks. Yeah. Hey, what's up? Not much. And if you have an attitude, it's going to be a lot happening. What do you believe? What do you believe about God? I, I respect God. What God do you respect? The Almighty, the Creator. Who is he? The one that created man. How do you know about him? I'm about to hang up on you. You play these games with me, dude. How do you know about him? Like the Bible. Okay, thank you. So why are you playing games? What do you call God? What's his name? But you're off the topic. What What's his name? Mexico? It doesn't have a name. So if I show you as a name, are you going to apologize? Yeah. Okay, go to Exodus chapter 3, verse 15. Open up your Bible. God also said to Moses, say to the Israelites, the Lord, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob has sent me to you. What did he say? Who sent them? God. No, read it again. See, it's right in front of you and you're lying to me. Read it again. God also said to Moses, say to the Israelites, the Lord, okay. the God of your fathers. The Lord, the right? God of it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now go to Exodus 6, 2 to 3. Don't get animated, son. Chill out. Before yeah. I chill you out. Go to Exodus 6, 2 to 3. I don't see a name. Where's the name? Which part of Lord wasn't clear? The L or the O or the R or the D? Lord is not a name. Yes, it is. Because in Hebrew, what is it? So I'm going to embarrass you for pontificating. What is it in Hebrew? What is it? So you're telling me it's not a name. You don't know what is in Hebrew. Hashem. Okay, what is Hashem? His name. But you just said he didn't have a name. So what is Hashem? What is the name? Hashem is what they use to not to pronounce the name. What is the name? Because he doesn't have a name. Let's try this again. In the Hebrew, what are the letters there? Because I'm about to hang up and send you to mommy. Hashem. No, it's not. The Hebrew doesn't say Hashem. That's what the Orthodox Jews say when they don't want to pronounce this name. Yes. What's the name? Okay, Exodus versus what? You just read it, man. 315, dude. But now go to Exodus 6, 2 to 3. God also said to Moses, I am the Lord. I appeared to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob as God Almighty. But my name, the Lord, I did not make it. I did not make myself. But my so what? Much. My what? But my name. What's my name? The Lord. Oh, but you just said he didn't have a name. Go to Psalm 83, verse 18. That men may know that though whose name alone is Jehovah. His name is what? Jehovah. So now that's Oh, so wait, you just told me so, he didn't have a name, right? Just, just said it was the Lord. Did you hear what I said? I said, the Lord in Hebrew, what is it? Did that part you didn't hear? Are you like playing dumb or you're not playing? It's You are dumb. Which is it? What is it in I'm Hebrew? Asking. Okay. Now you said he didn't have a name. Are you going to say I'm wrong and I apologize? No, I said his name is the Almighty. No, you didn't. It's recorded. Yes, did. You said he didn't have a name. You're lying. You said he didn't have a name. It's recorded. Can you yeah. apologize now? Yes, I apologize. Okay. Now you're being humble and you're being honest. Okay. That's, that's appreciative. What do you believe about the Trinity? I don't believe in the Trinity. Why not? Because God cannot have three forms. Three Who told you? Bodies. Did God like call you up on the phone and tell you he cannot have three forms? Uh, according to the Old Testament. Show me in the Old Testament true. where it says he can't have three forms. Show me where it says. It's no, you made the claim. See, this is it. You're you made the claim he can't. I, show me where it says he can't. I can't show you because I don't. It doesn't mention. It. Yes, it does. I'm gonna. I'll show you where you'll have more than one person identified as God at the same time. But you said he can't. Where did the Bible say he can't be three forms? Even though I don't believe it's three forms. That's your language. That's not the Trinity. In the Old Testament. Where does it say he can't be three persons or three forms? Don't put words in the mouth of God. Where does it say that? I don't know. Can you show me a verse? Yes, I'm going to show you many verses. Genesis 19:24, just so I can have fun at your expense. Genesis 19:24. Then the Lord rained down burning sulfur on Sodom and Gomorrah from the Lord out of the heavens. Okay, now have you read Genesis 18:19 or no? Just curiously. No. Okay, if you read those chapters, the Lord appears as a man on earth and eats food that Abraham offers him. That Genesis 18, 19, it's right there. Don't make me have you read it all the way if you're going to deny it. So I hope you don't deny it. In fact, just to prove it to you that he was on earth as a man, read Genesis 19, 27. Early the next morning, Abraham got up and returned to the place where he stood before the Lord. Okay, so he looked just stood before yeah. the Lord, right? Yeah. You know where the Lord was that Abraham stood before him or no? Yeah. Where was he? On the mountain. Okay, so you got that. Now read Genesis 19, 24 again then. Count. I know you know math. Count. Then the Lord rained down burning sulfur on Sodom and Gomorrah from the Lord out of the heavens. Count. How many is that? Two, three, the Lord on earth times. and the Lord where? Heavens. Count. Do math for me. Two times. How many? Twice. So twice. how many is that? Twice. So you do believe that, that God can be at least two then, huh? So now God is a unit. He's unitary, not... No, you just read in front of your eyes. Okay, you're going to get dial tone. 
The Lord is on earth who met with Abraham and he brought fire from the Lord out of the heavens. You got a Lord on earth and you got a Lord in heaven. Count. Even my kindergarten daughter can count. Lord on earth, one. Lord out of heaven, two. Count. Twice. No, that's how you count? Count. One, two. We don't, and when you were in kindergarten, when they say, okay, repeat the numbers. One twice, is that what you said? Or you said one, two. Is two in your numerical system or you're scared of two? One, two. So there's two, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now do you agree God can at least be two? Yeah, it could be two maybe, but not three. Okay. Now I'm going to show you three. You ready? Uh, yeah. Go to Isaiah 63. I want you to first read verses 7 to 9. I will tell of the kindness of the Lord, the deeds for which he is to be praised, well, according to the has done for us. Yes, the many good things he has done for Israel, according to his compassion and many kindness. He said, surely they are my people, children who will be true to me. And so he became their savior. Okay. And all their distress, he too was distressed. And the angel of his presence saved him and his love and mercy. He redeemed them. He Ooh. lifted them up and carried them. Who is their savior? Uh, the angel. But in verse 8, what did it say? Read it again. He said, truly, they are my people, children who will be true to me. And so he became their savior. And that's Jehovah, right? Or the Lord. Let's go with the Lord. Or Almighty, however you want to call it. And then, so the Lord was their savior. But then in verse verse 9, who saved them? The angel. No, the angel of his presence. Finish it. It's not just angel. It's the angel of the, his presence. You know what that means? The spirit. No. Angel does not mean a spirit. You know what the angel of his presence means? What? The messenger that embodies the very nature, name of God. Let me prove that to you. Go to Exodus 23, 20 to 21. It's too long, buddy. No, it's not. It's 20 to 21. Even my eight-year-old can read it. Come on, man. Read it. See, I'm sending you an angel ahead of you to guard you along the way and bring to you the place I have prepared. Pay attention to, the, to him and listen to what he says. Keep on. Do not rebel against him. He will not forgive your rebellion since my name is in him. Let me ask you a question. In the in the Bible, who forgives sins apart from God? Okay. Okay, now this God. angel forgives sins, he says. He says, do not rebel against him. He won't forgive you. Why? My name is in him. What does it mean that God's name is in the angel? The spirit is in him. No, that's not what name means. Let's try it again. The Hebrew word for, name, uh, for spirit is ruach. What does it mean my name is in him? What it means. It means whatever God is, he is, because when you speak of name, you speak of God, the nature of God, the being of God, the authority of God. That's why the angel forgives sins, which is something only God can do. Do you disagree? Only God can forgive sins, right? Mm -hmm. And yet the angel forgives sins. How can he do that? How? Because my name is in him. It's right in front of you, dude. Yeah. But for God's name to be in the angel, that means the angel has the nature of God. And if he has the nature of God, he is God, the angel of God. Count. How many is that? One, two. Now go back to Isaiah 63 because I'm going to show you three. You wanted three, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now go to Isaiah 63. Okay, I want you to do me a favor. Read 9 and 10 for starters. 9 and 10. Isaiah 63, 9 and 10 again. You read 9, but read 10 with it. 9 and 10. And all their distress, he too was distressed. And the angel of his... All you can say? Is that what your mother taught you? Is the Shia who did muta with her? Are they, did they know you talk like this? Fred, you caught it, right? Jared? All right, we got some more customers.